I don't want to quit my job. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I just got home from work, but I need to like replenish my mask stock because we get these like bags from work of masks that we have to wear. I have a big bag in my car that I just keep them all in, so I transfer the little ones into the big ones. So that's what I'm doing, but I figured I would update you guys on what's happening today while I do that. Today at 10 a.m. I get to pick my courses for my upcoming semester in college. I'm going back to school. Wow, are we really surprised? I hate my life. I'm going back for early childhood education so that I can like move up in the field because right now the job that I have, I don't have my degree. So I have like limitations of what I'm allowed to do. So if I get the degree, then I can, you know, go farther. So that's what we're doing. I'm hoping like fingers crossed that I'll be able to keep my job that I have now while I'm in school. It's all going to depend on what courses I have and what time they're at. I work 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then I work 3 to 6 p.m. so as long as I have no courses from 7 to 9 and 3 to 6 I should be fine and I can keep working except once I have to go to placement that's when things are gonna get a little complicated my supervisor now actually took the course that I'm in and he said that the placement so like when we have to go into a daycare and like work for them and like learn you know, that's what I'm doing already, but whatever. That is in June, so I'm on a 10-month contract, so I'll just have to tell them, like, in June that I have to go do placement. But hopefully, if it all works out, I can do it at the school that I'm already at, so I'll work 7 to 9, then do my placement from 9 to 3, and then work there again 3 to 6. So it's going to be a very long day, but hopefully I can do that, and then I'll still have my job, but... We'll see, like my schooling is only from January to August because I'm in like the fast track program. I don't know, we'll see how it all works out. I'll update you guys once I pick my courses, but I really hope it works out because I want to keep my job. <laughs> so it's like 9.30. I'm waiting for the courses to open, but I need to distract myself because I'm all anxious because I need to get the courses so that I know if I can work or not. So I've decided that I'm just going to write my reviews while I wait for half an hour. I have three that I need to write the reformed vampire support group the companion and a court of frost and starlight which i'm not gonna finish all three i'll probably finish like one and a half but i need to do something because i'm sitting here like freaking the fuck out so that's what we're doing while we wait and then i'll update you guys if i can keep working or not because uh, i'm worried so i got my schedule back and it fucking sucks. Three out of the five days I'll have class when I'm supposed to be at work from three to six. So Monday and Friday is three to six class. And then Wednesday I have class till four. So I emailed all the professors for those classes and I was like, hey, listen, like I'm working in the field. Do I have to be there? Is an online class? Like, do I have to be physically present during that time? Or can I just complete the work later? Or like, can we work something out? Because like I'm working in the field. It's not like I'm working at McDonald's and just going to school too. Like I'm in the field. Come on, we're waiting for them to email me back. I'm like obsessively refreshing my email because I just wanna know. I'll still be able to work in the mornings, thankfully. So hopefully my job is okay with that. And then I'll be able to work Tuesday, Thursday night if they're okay with that. And then if my professor's like, no, you're not doing that, then I'm gonna ask if I can come in on Wednesdays at four instead of three. So like I still have two hours. I don't know, I have to figure it out. But like, I don't want to quit my job. <laughs> I'm so happy. So my professor for the Wednesday and the Friday says no problem and she's gonna record everything anyways so I don't have to be there. So now we're just waiting for the Monday night. Maybe I can work still. I'm so excited! <laughs> Update on the naughty or nice. I am now the nicest. Curtis is the naughtiest. But you lied. No, I did not. You, lie. you don't even know where the snacks for, for the, the treats for Santa plate is. You said three different places and all three were wrong. The point is, I do give you him treats. I give him do. my my snowballs. Yes, I do. Shut up. You are Will's the, not here, okay, so we don't wait. know. Hello. Nice you You're not do, doing well. Will's not right here, now. so we can't do his. But when he wakes up, I'll make him do it. I'll Facetime him. 
You're losing. How does it feel to be a loser? I'm a liar though. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, so I just ran home because I have to attend the Frenzy Presents tonight, which started at six and we had ministry come for our work today. So it was a shit show. So we got out like right at six. So I sped home. It's now like 6.10 and I'm finally logged in. Concrete Rose takes us back to the world of Garden Heights one more time and follows young Maverick Carter. Yes, I'm talking about Scar's dad from the Hades Give. In Concrete Rose, Mav is a 17-year-old kid who's known around the neighborhood for being the son of a former gang legend. He sells drugs to help his mom get by while his dad is in prison, and he thinks he's got everything under control. That is until Maverick finds out he's a father. Please join us in welcoming Shannon Smart. Okay, so um, I'm really excited to be here. I love, I love Canada. I have relatives in Toronto. Fantasy of the winter season as well. Oh, so. thank Yay. you so much. <laughs> She's so cute. So Yaya and Jasmine are both incredibly compelling characters with distinct point of views. Um, and I was wondering, is there a witch that you happen to identify more with out of the two of them in the story? I mean, it would be really worrying, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> one is out to kill everyone and the other one is out to overthrow her own mom. So I should probably preface this by saying that I love my mom. <laughs> okay, so Frenzy just ended. I am so excited for so many of the books I talked about, especially which is Steeped in Gold by Shannon. I'm so excited. It sounds so freaking good. But I also just put in a request for the class that I have on Monday. The professor said that she would like try to work with my schedule and like figure out how we can let me keep working. But it's an ethics course, which I took ethics in 2017 during my kinesiology physical health education degree. So I'm going to try to get exempt from it. The annoying thing is, is that I have to pay for a transcript, even though I had to pay for a transcript to send to the college already to get accepted into the program so they have my transcript but I have to send another one to say hey exempt me from this course which I don't think they're going to because they don't really relate one was an ethics course for kinesiology and like sports and like health fields and then the one that I want to get exempt from is for like education I don't know if it'll work I'm hoping because one sports one's education probably will not add up but fingers crossed I didn't just spend $15 for nothing which like $15 is not a lot but also like I could have $15 in my pocket you know so mommy's bracelet is going to be unlocked dun, dun, dun. unlocked yes unlocked dun, 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 dun. my fingers are slimy I know that's the worst part at least it doesn't smell like peppermint uh, Ooh, do you like it it's all right so that's enough I have a package mommy's gonna open it oh. here here Oh, I knew that was coming. Exciting. From, from? Harriet, the author of that book. She asked me to read it. It's like a fantasy. Christopher Moore is the one who wrote Suck It. Oh, maybe it's his daughter. Or wife. It's now 8.30, so I'm going to curl up in my bed because I am freezing. I can't stop shivering, and I'm just going to read Guy Beyond the Storm until I go to bed at 10. So thank you for joining me on Vlogmas Day 9, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye!